Hey, this is Jason with Fat Pinner Garage, and we got some weather stripping that we like to use on our 6772 C10s. One of the problems we have when we're uh, doing builds here is the way that outside molding fits on these trucks. It doesn't fit well. You're trying to snap it in. You got to take it off. Sometimes it just doesn't seal up at all. And so what we try to do is always improve what we're doing here. And so what we're using is a little bit different of a seal. And this is a glue on seal. This is something you can do yourself at home in your garage that you can install in like 30 minutes. It's super easy to do. And so what you have to do is you gotta come over here and you'll have to, this will come a little bit longer than what you need and you'll need to cut it to length. And I'll kind of show you where we cut it, but you wanna cut it to size to make a tiny little notch for the window channel right here. And then what you're gonna wanna do after that is you're then gonna wanna take We'll supply you this little piece of Scotch-Brite. You're gonna to wanna to take the back edge and kind of clean that up so that when you install it and glue it on, you've got a good surface for it to bite into. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you get some masking tape and you're gonna to wanna to put some tape all along the edge right there to make sure that you don't make a mistake and you over glue and you get that all over your paint and the next thing you know, you're really mad because you messed up your truck. So. Tape to protect it, scotch right to clean it to make sure it bites, and then we apply the glue. And so the glue, basically, you're just gonna put a bead at the top, a bead at the bottom, and then just a little bit of a squiggly down the middle. Do not over glue and put too much of this stuff because it's designed to bond quickly. As a matter of fact, you only have to apply about pressure for about a minute and it's done. This stuff dries quickly, it's hard as a rock, and it works really good. And so you'll wanna keep applying and pushing and going back over it again and making sure it's stuck tight and do that for about a minute and make sure it's on tight and let that dry for about three to four hours before you roll your windows back up. But you do that in with the windows in the down position and make sure this is up tight. If you need to put a little rubber block in there or a wood block to help give you more leverage you can. Take a look here. You'll notice that we're not super tight. We notch out for the little window channel here. And you wanna make sure that this isn't so tight that it's bowing out. Because if it's bowing out, you might run the risk of this not sticking as good as it needs to fit. So go in and out, make sure it fits nice and easily. And then glue it up and put it in. Sometimes we'll use a couple guys here because you only have like that minute window. And so we use a couple guys, we'll glue it all up, we'll slide it in there, start sticking it, and then just make sure it's done, and then we'll go on to the next window. Probably about a 30 minute installation for both of them. It's not too hard, not too difficult. It fits a lot cleaner, it sweeps up against the glass, and you don't get as much water on the inside of your truck. Nicer, cleaner look. You don't get that chrome bead that you're used to seeing, but you get a little bit more of a modern look and a modern sweep on it, and it's just a tidier finish. So, uh, again, you know as well as I know, if you have to take it off one time with clips on it, you're done. The clip's usually falling off, and then at that point, you're, you're gluing anyways, or doing something. So, a great product, it's on our website. Subscribe to us and follow us, and you'll be updated with more content and tips and tricks on things that we do here at Fat Pinner Garage. Thanks.